Welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Let's get started with today's recipe. Crock pot large lima beans is the recipe for today. So let's get started. I have here a roast that I've had in my freezer for a while. So I'm going to slice that up and put it in my beans for today. And let me just show you some things. Now back in the day we called these lima beans. or we, I mean we called them butter beans. But they are lima beans, but we call them butter beans. So here is the ingredients that you're going to need to make these crock pot large lima beans. You're going to need, of course, the lima beans. And I have two bags of them that I'm going to be preparing in my crock pot. I have two tablespoons of sugar. My all-time favorite seasoning in the world, Lipton Onion Soup Mix and I have a half stick of butter. Now what you don't see here is any salt because the way I learned it is salt tends to split your beans and every time I've tried it, it split it. So, so for the last 30 years, I've been cooking beans, putting my salt in at the end. Now if you want to add some cayenne red pepper to this to give it a little bit of a kick or you want to add some other type of seasonings that don't have the salt in it, that's fine. But I don't add salt until the very, very end. Now how do you clean large lima beans? Well, it's very, very simple. The whole ones you want to put in the pot, the ones that really are not blemished or they're not split, the ones that are split like this, you want to discard those kind. Okay, so when you're picking through your beans, when you see them like that, see like that is, when you see it like that, just discard it, take it out. Okay, all you want to do is rinse these off and put them into your crock pot for about four hours and whenever you're cooking with a crock pot you know that crock pot is very low maintenance there's nothing really that you have to do with that so I'm gonna go away get this all cut up one other thing I'm going to add to this is I thought I had it on the table but I don't I'm gonna add a half piece of onion to this to just give it just a little bit more flavor so I'm gonna go away finish cleaning uh, my beans and I'm gonna rinse them off and I'll meet you when I get ready to put them into the crock pot. These butter beans are really, or large lima beans, are really, really an excellent comfort meal. And I'm going to be preparing that today. So I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm at the sink and I'm ready to get started with these beans. I'm going to put in my half a stick of butter. I'm going to go ahead and put in my beans. I've already rinsed them. Now the ratio beans to water is for every one cup of beans, you should have three and a half cups of water to put over inside of there in order for it to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this onion that I have. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of the um this is actually pork and it was a uh, pork roast that i had but sometimes when my family won't uh finish it or if i freeze it then i'll have to be versatile with it so we believe we like to eat meat with pretty much all of our meals so i'm just going to take this and make it be the meat for this particular dish Go ahead and put in my all-time favorite seasoning in the world, Lipton Onion Soup Mix. And I'm going to put in my two tablespoons of sugar. Now I'm going to allow this to cook at least three and a half to four hours before I do anything. And I think the one thing that all homes should have is a slow cooker because there's going to be days that you really don't feel like slaving over that stove. And then you will have that slow cooker to get you through that process. Just a little bit more. Now if I cooked, uh, instead of having one pound of, of beans because it comes, the lima beans come one pound packages, I had two one pound packages. So that's why you see me adding just a little bit more water so instead of having the three and a half cups per one pound package I'm using seven cups of water because I had more beans 
Okay, so I'm going to allow this to just cook. I'm going to put the top on it. And I'm not going to put all the meat in. I just put enough meat in in order to give it some flavor. So I'm going to put the rest of the meat in later on. I'll bring it back probably midway through the cooking. Show you what it looks like. And then I'll finish this up in my slow cooker. Remember, very low maintenance. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back. And the beans are slowly cooking up. And as you can see, they're getting a little bit bigger in size. And with um, butter beans or large lima beans, what they do is they cream up. So it's a really good taste in your mouth. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of that meat in. And I'm going to let these go ahead and just cook. One of the better things to have when you're cooking beans is your ham bone. Ham bone makes any type of bean taste good. But again, I say I think everybody should have a slow cooker in their kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and cover these and let them go ahead and finish out the cooking. And what I'll do is I'll bring you back when they're done and I'll serve up a bowl. Be back later. Okay, now I'm back and the beans are done. So just going to show you what they look like. And butter beans, as I told you, butter beans are real creamy. You see how it has like that cream gravy to it. So I'm going to go ahead and dish up a bowl. And I do have these pork pieces over in the beans. But if you look at the beans, for the most part, my beans stayed whole. And that's what you want. You want your beans to be whole. But like I told you, I have found that if you don't add the salt until the very end, I want to make certain that I get some liquids over into the bowl. If you don't add the salt until the very end, then that's the way that your beans are going to cook. So, I just wanted to show you beans in, cooked in a crock pot. These are large lima beans cooked in a, in a crock pot with my leftover pork shoulder roast is really what it was that I had left over. I just chopped it up and put it in and used it as the meat for the beans. And I'm serving that with cornbread. Okay, that's what we're having tonight large lima beans with pork meats and cornbread and as always thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube don't forget to check out October the 3rd 2017 at 7 o'clock that's the Q&A you don't want to miss it bye